Yeah, uh, really proud of the way our team came out and started the game. Um, you know, Duke, I think Kara's doing a great job over there. They, I told her they were playing Pat Summit basketball. They really get after you defensively and try to turn you over, and they create offense off those turnovers. And then they do a great job getting to the offensive board. So I thought the first half, we did a pretty good job of handling their pressure and keeping them off the glass. Second half, maybe slipped a little bit. But uh, again, great win, and uh, especially after a Thursday night, we needed to come out against a, a very aggressive team and, and show some toughness. So uh, proud of them for doing that. Obviously, as I, James, unbelievable game. Uh, we really needed uh, some score and punch, and, and uh, we hadn't been shooting the ball real well uh, the last few games. So it was great to see her uh, you know, produce some offense for us. And then uh, Mimi Collins having a double-double, five of those rebounds being offensive. And then Sanaya Rivers having seven steals, and and uh, again some of those steals led to offense. So um, again, good good win, good bounce back win. Let's go ahead with questions. Wes, do you? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Uh, how big was it just to get River back in the lineup today? Yeah, you know, uh, definitely. Even though she was somewhat limited in minutes and in a hundred percent. Just having her presence out there definitely gave the whole team a lift and some confidence and get back to the lineup that's, you know, had a lot of success. Uh, so I think that was big. And, and, you know, again, when you can, they doubled her a lot, uh, which, uh, you know, created some problems. But uh, when she had it one-on-one, -on -one, she was able to, to score for us. And uh, defensively, just having her presence back there too, to uh, kind of, cover for you when you do get beat. So uh, again, great to have River back. And hopefully she'll continue to get a little more mobile and, and back on track. That's what I was going to ask you about <clears throat> their turnovers. You guys scored 24 points off turnovers. Not all of them were live ball, but you guys converted multiple times, especially the first quarter when they were a little out of rhythm. Kind of how valuable is that, especially when you're playing a team that's done as yeah, well? Yeah, like I said, I, I, you know, I'm getting old. I've forgotten now, but the numbers at halftime were really impressive. Points off turnovers may have been 14 to zero, maybe, uh, at halftime. And then similar on the glass, second chance points. And those that's what our two points of emphasis, you know. Uh, again, got great respect for what they do, how hard they play, and we knew we were going to have to take care of the ball. Uh, against that pressure and, and then, like I said, try to keep them off the boards. In the first half, I thought we did a really good job. Look forward to seeing the tape and maybe see uh, how it compared in the second half. Uh, but again, no doubt set the tone uh, in that first half. What do you think was the difference for Isaiah today? Do you think that she was just the ball started going early and that? That's it. You see the ball go through the net a couple of times and now that goal looks like a you know, kitty swimming pool or something. And uh, yeah, I mean, again, we, we had several players struggling shooting from the perimeter. And uh, so for her to hit a couple early, I think gave her the confidence. And and once she gets rolling, you know, get out get out of the way, let her go. Down in Coral Gable, we had problems with Miami. They were blowing by, beating off the dribble. What was the difference today to keep you from doing that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, we, we put a lot of emphasis on it in practice. Uh, Dukes, you know, their guards are a tough matchup because they can shoot the three and they're athletic and explosive to the rim. That's tough. But I thought we did a pretty good job on the handoffs, pick on the ball stuff. Uh, so I think that was good. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Sometimes when you're on the road, maybe you don't have quite as much energy and confidence. Obviously, our fans make a big difference. And, give you a lot of uh, mojo out there uh, when when you hear the crowd. So not sure, but I do think we did a little bit better job. Like I said, we'll see the film, but it seemed like we did a better job uh, getting between them and the rim. You Coach, know. now after two losses this season, both those games have been followed by blowout wins. Is it reassuring at all to know that so far at least the losses aren't snowballing on top of each other? I guess I'm still not over, especially the Virginia Tech game, you know, and uh, you know, we got to, I know we got to move forward, keep, uh, keep advancing, but, you know, uh, uh, really, you just got to take them one game at a time. I mean, this league is very good, and uh, especially when you go on the road, you got to really bring 
mental, physical toughness with you to have a chance. And uh, you know, I thought Miami just, you know, took it to us down there. And and again, really concerned going into this game because of the way Duke plays. So uh, for us to bounce back is is good. But now the next two are on the road, and we got to see if we can, you know, carry that with us. One thing Kara mentioned was she was she's always so impressed with your all's experience, especially this year. Did you feel like when you're coming off of a loss like that, that that experience with the players really made a difference? Uh, possibly, yeah, I think so. You know, having kids that have been in the program for a while and veterans, they've been, you know, some of them, some of them, like I said, have been in college uh, longer than I've been coaching all those, you know. So uh, with all the new COVID and extra red, whatever. So uh, yeah, definitely that helps. And that's the thing, Duke, Duke has some young players and that's why I think they're getting better. You know, uh, the other night against Virginia Tech, they were really impressive. And so I think uh, as the season goes on, they're going to get better because uh, they're playing some freshmen and sophomores right now, some some big minutes. And adding on to that, depth down the line is a big deal. And you got some good players with some talent coming off the bench, but they may be struggling a little bit being newer to their college game. I mean, how are you keeping your depth players like Zoe, you know, keeping their positive mindset at the same time, may not, not having a great day? At the same time, how are you keeping them away? Yeah, I probably don't do a good job of that. But, uh, you know, again, with River back, it, it changed it, everything, you know, for because we played Madison Hayes at the four when River was out. Now River back, we move Madison back to the perimeter, so that affects the guard rotation. Uh, and, you know, same way when you got River in there, it affects uh, Mimi, you know, how much she's playing at that spot and people coming in off the bench. but. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm sure uh, I'm sure they get frustrated at times. But in a game like this, when, when things get tight, uh, which we let them get back in it, you know, we let them close the gap there. So uh, I just go with veterans. And so hopefully they stick around and become veterans here. And uh, then, then they're going to get those uh, critical minutes as well. Get two road games coming up. How do you approach this next week? Yeah. Make sure there's no slippage. Yeah, you know, uh, Clemson's had some big wins. Obviously, they beat uh, Duke in the first game of the year. So Clemson, especially on the road, and uh, they play a lot of zone defense. So we got a couple of days here to prepare for that. Uh, and in Boston College, is always a tough road trip there too. So yeah, it's 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 a big week. You know, it's two games that uh, on the road that we got to find a way to pull this thing together and hopefully having River back for a couple more days of practice and all, we can, uh, you know, get back to playing with a little bit more rhythm. You know, I thought this game, even the fourth quarter, you got a lead, they're pressuring you, you know, how much clock do you eat, how much you still got to keep scoring some. So I didn't think the fourth quarter was very pretty. So yeah, th 13 points in the fourth quarter. So uh, we still got some stuff we got to, clean up and, and hopefully these next couple of days will help. You know, after the Miami game, you said something to the effect of you played like you practiced. Was there anything in the last few days that, you know, I don't know, made you feel a little bit yeah, better going into the Maybe game? a little better. Uh, you know, I, I just think uh, sometimes, especially this time of year, you know, uh, you've been going at it a long time now since really the summer and March Madness is still for it far enough away that you're not like, okay, here we go. So it's uh, dog days of the season, so to speak. So sometimes practice can, you know, they lose focus or whatever. So we're fortunate. We got practice, a practice team that we go against that's really good and, and does a great job preparing us for our opponents. And we need to take advantage of that and, and uh, continue to grow our access. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I'm pleased with the fact that we were able to turn them over and all. But I know when I get back and watch the film, there's still going to be times where we could have been a little bit more aggressive and on edge and going and getting a loose ball or a rebound. So we're still growing as a team. We're 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 not uh, we're not there yet. Anything else for coach? Okay, thanks, y'all. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.